Hello, it's Scott Wiseman here. I'm going to be telling you my story of climbing Alpamayo in the Cordillera Blanca range of the Peruvian Andes. Alpamayo is often referred to as La Montaña Mas Bella del Mundo, meaning the most beautiful mountain in the world, which is famous for its very aesthetic pyramidal form. Climbing Alpamayo is a technical endeavor which involves a very steep ascent. You wake up very early from high camp to go up about six or seven pitches of steep ice climbing at 70 or 80 degrees to gain the summit ridge. My expedition consisted of two teammates, Pau from Catalonia, as well as Derek from Poland. The leadership team came from Andean Rahu Adventures, including our guides Edgar and Paulino. The typical expedition to the Cordero Blanca range begins in Juarez, which is about eight hour bus ride from Lima. On the first day of the expedition, we drove out to Casa Pampa, and then from there, we trekked over to Yama Corral. Powell's made of tough stuff. He had a little bit of food poisoning yesterday. I think this is the first food you've had, right? Banana? Yeah. But your mode not being the best is still pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Derek? Yeah, almost. <laughs> We're on the Santa Cruz trek towards Alpamayo Base Camp. Left two minutes ago. We just made it to our first camp, Yama Corral. About four, four and a half hours to get here. I'm sure the camp has some cows. Up to peaks in the distance. We are in very good hands in terms of in terms of <laughs> cooking. <laughs> Tasty. Pretty tasty. Very sweet, yeah. Someone smarter than me has to tell me the name of this. Granadilla. Granadilla, like grenade. <laughs> yeah. Pickle from all South America, not just Peru. Actually, a lot of the time is spent in the tent and just uh, taking time to relax because there's going to be many days with uh, pretty significant um, pushes and we're going to need to save our strength and energy for for that. Um, tomorrow is going to be the push to Moraine Camp, then High Camp, and then um, Alpha Mile Summit and then all the way back on that third day to um, base camp again. We are going to climb some beautiful pyramids. Yeah, there's a little <laughs> apamayo on our plate. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't want to destroy it. The rack going down. Uh -oh. <laughs> Third day, and it's a bit cold and frosty, but very clear weather. There is Artisan Rahu. The rain camp is only a couple hours away, so it's uh, a little bit easier to rest down at the base camp. So we're really not in a big hurry to get going today. If the weather forecast were right, we would not be eating outside this morning. <laughs> so they could be wrong every morning for all I care. Uh, we've been eating very, very well. Omelets with spinach, it looks like. Uh, tortilla de spinacas. Ah. <laughs> this is uh, Powell's idea of stretching. <laughs> yeah, baby. The moon is conveniently placed right over our high camp. We're gonna be there the day after tomorrow. Panning over now towards Apple Mile. Don't make the photo with this moon. <laughs> Last meal at base camp. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go to Moraine Camp. Moraine Camp. Team, nearly to Moraine Camp. Maybe. Oh, the porters, the porters are really supermen. We already they passed us on the way up after leaving after us, and they already got the tents up. Crazy. One of Pal's traditions is to come sit inside the tent and write about the day, so he doesn't forget stuff. It's writing time. <laughs> I like your pillow. Getting a hike camp is like going up the summit. I did that one year ago, hard to believe. In the distance you can make out a few people about to gain the crest. Good morning from Apple Mile Moraine Camp. Waking up on our fourth day of the trip, I believe, after only a so so night of sleeping, which included inhaling some down feathers from a leaky sleeping bag. We're gonna get going by eight or maybe a little after. Try to wait for the first light to hit us so that we can start drying out our gear and our sleeping bags and our tents. And then we're gonna be heading up the snow field and towards the left into the sun. And there is the coal that gets us over to high camp. Here we are at the second pitch. Just finished first one. All right, there's Derek, Edgar, Bao, just making the last few steps to the call over to high camp. I think that took everything we had today. That was a lot of effort. Not done until you've done 10 push-ups. How do you feel? Yeah, 10 push-ups. He, he's uh, keeping score over there. You gotta do it right, right in front of him. I'm the, I'm the judge here. Yeah? Whether you're complete or not. Yeah, okay. <laughs> of course the question is, if they're too tired, can you do push-ups for them? <laughs> wow. Yeah, I wow. mean, 
it's like that little like scoop of a uh, there it is. Second helping at dinner, like put that. Ooh, that's the most really funniest yeah. part. <sighs> Pre-dinner snack before dinner, before sleep, and then up a mile push. There's up a mile in my reflection. Sweet. Okay, so the push begins. We're already in our crampons, harnesses, helmets, <laughs> uh, big jackets, asking ourselves why we're doing this, but too late to second guess. There is no answer. Maybe an answer comes later. There's my goonie self. Ah, lots of light. Yikes. Climbing up Mayo today. Pictures from the top now. A few really scary mushrooms that we're not looking at too <laughs> too much. Wow. I made it this far. We made it this far. I think we're gonna be able to do two more. We're on the last pitch finally. I'm totally whooped, but I'm gonna make it. video because we got to get going. You can see base camp near the lake and you can see moraine camp and high camp. Every camp that we stayed at on the way up here. Here we are, summit of up a mile. We worked really hard to get here including two trips to Peru. Failed the first time. But here I am. Long at last, top of Alpa Mayo. Feeling pretty emotional, even if I don't have tears to show it. Oh, 
you know, don't ever let anybody tell you that any of your ideas are too crazy. Just do them, you know, just do it. And you know, we really don't belong on a mountain like this, <laughs> but it's pretty special. I'll always remember this. Uh, <laughs> Paulino, you're the best. about midway through the rappel. Not doing much filming here. There's a rain of ice coming down. I want to move quickly. There's Derek. We're making pretty damn good progress. There's me. Three, two, one. Oh. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. Made it look easy. <laughs> That's where we just climbed up and rappelled down. See a couple people near the ridge. And this Kular. That's a little bit of the return journey to high camp. Safe and sound. Safe and sound. I did almost no filming or video after we got down to base camp yesterday because we were all really tired. But it was fun, we got together for a pisco sour over in our um, dining tent over there. Uh, sadly, Derek is on his way out because he's not joining us to Artisan Rahu. He's only, only doing up mile. So leaving with Willie and one of the donkeys. First light of the day hitting up a mile. Incredible to think that 24 hours ago, we stood on top of that summit. Still needing time to process. Thank you for joining with me on this journey to Alpamayo, which is one of Peru, if not one of the world's most beautiful mountains. Before I leave you, I want to introduce you to some of the friends I met along the way. And also, if you really enjoyed this adventure and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Scott, there is something very interesting. Here's a Peruvian pet store. <laughs> I would rescue them if I could, but it'd be hard to get through uh, customs. Stop. <laughs>